the morning when you wake up, the sunlight shines through the window on this perfect day. Uh, I'm Roland Hofer and I'm a CEO of uh, Caliban Industries and uh, we uh, have the product uh, Rock Power, the solar powered rock. Basically it, it features a, a circuit called uh, the Slazenger Generator and uh, that's uh, basically uh, named after uh, uh, Blair Slazenger, uh, he's a professor at MIT and uh, basically uh, he, he, uh, the, the, the circuit is, is a rock amplifying circuit because we take the energy from the rock, out of the rock and put it into a, a source where uh, it can be uh, later saved and released for future generations. Uh, sunlight uh, uh, light is converted into electrical energy as uh, photons uh, strike the surface of, of, of a solar panel and uh, these electrons uh, travel uh, through the circuit and uh, it's uh, measured uh, in, 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 in a very light mass which is in accordance with uh, Einstein's equation e equals mc squared. You have a, a, the increase in mass is slight that's why we use a meter to, to measure this and the solar panel and the meter and uh, this is a, a resistor and the resistor basically short circuits the whole circuit and, uh, and that's what that's, uh, that is uh, the, 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 the secret of the patented uh, uh, technology uh, which uh, uh, is used in, in, uh, in the solar-powered rock. The solar-powered rock is actually a sunlight detector, so you can uh, place it by your plants, uh, and it'll tell you how much light your plants are getting. You can actually record the, uh, the, the, the rock power energy and, and, and voltages you know, on a sunny day or a cloudy day or on a normal day. And these are uh, three different uh, meditations or uh, thoughts uh, 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 thought like experience all about the, the rock and uh, if you can imagine a, a, a computer uh, uh, that uh, yeah, a rock that is uh, mounted to a, to a computer and, uh, uh, so you have your rock and then you have your monitor mounted on, on the rock and uh, and you on, on the uh, uh, as a screen server on the clear screen is a picture of the rock and uh, which show different types of rocks so basically the the, the solar panel is a uh, is like your keyboard and, uh, and uh, your meter is actually like a computer monitor and uh, this is an actual uh, hardware, the, the, the rock. And, uh, uh, for example, uh, the rock is actually a communication device, you know, for like for, for, a, for a caterpillar, uh, uh, it's like a typewriter basically or a cell phone. The caterpillar crawls across the rock and uh, all, all, all its feet uh, type in a message and, uh, and then the picture of rock is shown on, on the computer screen and that's what the meter is and uh, the idea of uh, consciousness after death, you know, there, there's this uh, 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 organization in Las Vegas, they're called uh, uh, NIDS, uh, National Institute for Discovery Science and they actually uh, claim to know uh, the cause of uh, crop circles. Uh, they, they, they have uh, various uh, competitions for uh, essays on uh, 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 the existence of alien life in the universe and uh, uh, imagine uh, being reincarnated as a rock, you know, and uh, traveling in outer space. Now some people might say, well, that's pretty sedentary life, uh, uh, living uh, as a rock, but uh, you know, what if you were headed towards a planet, uh, uh, like a, a giant meteor, or, or an uh, asteroid or a uh, comet heading towards a planet. Uh, could, uh, basically, you could, you could destroy the Earth. You know, you, you'd, you'd be reincarnated incarnated as a rock heading towards the Earth and it actually destroy the Earth. You know. Now, this, this is a little tricky one that I have. It's a, it's a third meditation on the rock. Now, if you were to launch a, a transmitter into space to orbit around uh, the rock, so it's moving uh, around the rock while the rock is moving forward, and then you, you send a, 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 out a receiver uh, at the same time. So you have something orbiting around the, the rock, and then you have your receiver. Now, uh, while we're moving forward, we have the two orbits, much like uh, our uh, 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 proton and neutron uh, orbiting uh, the atom. And uh, you know, would would the two ever intersect? You know, would, would the two paths of the transmitter and receiver ever intersect? I don't know. I mean, the uh, the universe is infinite, but uh, uh, I think uh, eventually uh, you would come back to a point where the two paths uh, would intersect, and, and it would be sort of like uh, a, a voice collision. A voice collision. Okay. The solar-powered rock uh, can be. Uh, broken down into uh, these uh, 
six uh, components. Uh, basically, the, the, the largest amount is, is, is matter, which is the actual the physicality of the rock, you know, because we indeed live on a solar powered rock. The Earth is a solar powered rock. And then you got your sunlight, which is your power, you know, which is what uh, just a relative term, just describe, describing like the circuit and, and the elect electrical energy into the rock and how it is released for future gener generations. And the technology is 10%, but the, the reason why it isn't more, a larger amount of technology, if, if, if you can imagine uh, you have your rock and it, let's say uh, the universe was like a mirror and you have your rock and there's a reflection of the rock in, in the glass pane or in, or in a mirror, but in, in the real world, the rock isn't there. It's just a reflection, you know? So uh, uh, that's where uh, the technology comes in because uh, it's just a matter of uh, uh, the rock doesn't exist and that, that's why uh, put belief into into it and into the concept of the rock. You have to realize that it, it, it is a, it is a concept and it is a technology. And then uh, uh, psychic energy is eight uh, percent. Everything uh, like a rock or any any sort of a mind projector, a solar powered mind projector needs a little bit of psychic energy. And uh, potatoes is six percent because they're actually uh, solar powered potatoes. You know where uh, you take your uh, meter and you place it into your potato or, or an orange or something like that, which is like citric acid or lemon, you know, because you get enough current to probably uh, run a meter or uh, as for a light bulb, I don't know, but, or radio. If you, they, they actually had at uh, one point time uh, the, the potato plot, you know, if, if you could uh, somehow make a generator out, out, out of just the potatoes, for example, you just throw them into a big bin and, and, and the machine just grinds up the potato and runs like a bandsaw, which you can actually use to cut, cut your rocks. <laughs> We'll uh, examine the, the projected sales of the solar-powered rock. Uh, this is a chart of profits versus units sold. And you can see uh, how it starts off, you know, the number is tens of thousands of rocks sold. Up, and when, when it finally gets into the higher register, like 60,000 60, rocks, uh, it shoots up the sales, you know. So uh, if even if, if, if a 10 cent profit is made on every dollar, then if you sell uh, uh, each million unit of rocks, you know, uh, 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 is sold, uh, at $29.95, uh, it, it, it will uh, produce a revenue uh, of each million of, of $3 million you know, per, per million units. So you, you can see how that exponentially, how, how that just uh, booms, you know, in, in, for, you know, for the baby boomers, for example, you know, who, who have been listening to music really loud since the 1960s. You know, they, they need these solar powered rocks more, more than anyone.